Mob grazing is a short duration, high intensity grazing of many cattle on a small area of pasture moved several times a day to new forage. Mob grazing increases the efficiency of forage harvest and reduces the need for feeding hay to cattle. Sufficient water supply and temporary electric fence are the two most important factors in successful mob grazing. Gary Howie is a mob grazing rancher near New Underwood, South Dakota. He has found a few ways to make electric fencing efficient for his operation. For the mob grazing that we're doing, where we're moving cows once a day, and ultimately we hope to be able to move them three or four times a day, we have to put up and take down a lot of electric fence, and for that to even be reasonable, it has to be done fairly efficiently. Howie's four-wheeler is the number one tool that allows him to put up about a half a mile of electric fence in 30 minutes. His four-wheeler is complete with spools of wire, pigtail step-in posts, a post pounder, shovel, fence stretcher, also. fence puller, and a few odds and ends. Normally we put up half a mile to a mile a day, but we have bad cases where uh, we got three or four miles of fence out. He starts by hooking the wire to an existing boundary fence post, then riding side saddle on the four-wheeler to put in posts and wire. I usually go about uh, five seconds or six seconds at four miles an hour, put them out about 40 or 50 feet apart. but. The stepping post just go like that, wind that around. He uses handmade steel posts on the corners. This special lightweight post has a ring at the top for attaching wire reels and a triangle plate near the bottom for ease in removing the posts. Yep. And normally this would be at the end of a run, usually at the end of a spool. <laughs> now you see, I put a reasonable amount of tension on it. How he develops his own posts, steel add-ons, and four-wheeler accessories as needed for his pastures. Picking up the temporary electric fence is as easy as setting it up. How he collects the pigtail posts and lays the wire on the ground. After he has an entire spool on the ground, he winds up the spool and puts it on the four-wheeler rack. Uh, I don't want to get that. But I just bend over like this and... The first day how we tried to set up electric fence was a memorable but frustrating experience. first started the, the putting up fence, and that, uh, putting up the temporary fence efficiently is absolutely critical. You've got to be able to do it. I said myself and two helpers put up a little less than half a mile in four hours, and it was brutal. The forage was almost knee high, and it, it was uh, one of those killer days. The process of putting up and taking down electric fence has saved Howie lots of time, energy, and frustration. He plans to keep working to make the operation efficient and his mob grazing efforts successful. Come cows!